Hi uh, guys, in previous video I installed the latest Endeavor OS. It's called Artemis Nova 2209. And all the stories, the saga of Grub is in the past. You see the version 322 version 4 is running and working. This video is not about um, installing it. So that's the previous video in the numbering on YouTube. This one is about how to make this thing more my thing, right? There are so many beautiful Linux distributions out there, but it is really a taste and, and a personal opinion. If you like that icon, that theme and so on and so on. It's all about choices. What do you want to have as software, right? Lots of things that you like or hate or missing. And that's what we do in this video. Making and learning, making scripts and learning about scripts is actually super interesting. So this is my name and this is the Artlinux Nemesis script that can be downloaded from anyone on any system. And it's all about learning what's inside in the code, reading code, learning about code and deciding, okay, I can adapt that kind of code to do this and this and that. Git clone, control shift V. So basically all the code that is online is now on my system. Arklinks Nemesis is the name. And you open it with your choice of text editor. In this case, it's just the, how is it called? Help about XZ, right? Okay, choices. Many, many, over 20 choices of editor. And then you start running these things. And one of the things, of course, we'd like to have later on, and that's a, a tool, an Arch Linux tweak tool to be able to install, not XFC that's there already, but to install something else, i3 or PSPDLM or some, or in my case, the preference of 2022, since January, I've been working on LeftWM. All the development has been made on the ISO builder with left WM and XFCE. So the Arclinux XL, Arch, the Arch Linux tweak tool, desktop, install left WM. And since then I was on left WM. So you see me installing all kinds of things, choices, right? Visual Studio code bin and so on. Icons are coming in. In the meantime, we've added other repos. If you type sudo pacman minus sy, you see there are more read yeah, here at the moment. It's locked, right? There can be only one instance of pattern, right? So he's busy to the right. You can't be busy to the left because it's blocked at this time. It's locked. But you'll see. Well, actually, we can just walk through it. So etc and then pacman D, and then the pacman.conf, of course, Eric pacman.conf, and in here you'll see. I've added some things. Visual Studio Code is there. Mm, dark, yeah, sure. Next section, okay. Uh, fine, we yeah, are next section, split editor, okay. Uh huh, more done. And now we open pacman.conf. And you see here that we've added, and that rest at the top. Very good to start always with your own repos at the top because the package that you'll put in there will be installed and it will stop. It will not go further down the list. It will stop if it finds the package here. And we've added Arklinks repos and the Nemesis repos at the end. All right. So that's basically, we yeah, are adding stores. See it's a repo or repository is kind of catalog of uh, a database that you download and it says, okay, on this repository, you can install this and this and this and that. It's signed or it's not signed and you can uh, get the software from third-party repositories as well. Uh, let's see if I can find it again. Arch Linux non-official repo. Let's see what did we get. Unofficial user repository. So there's so many signed and unsigned 
repos where you can get packages and each one of them explains what you should do have key rings and this is then the repo where to find it well it's on the aor andonti.net arch so that's a variable and that's pacman will change that variable into i think x86 64 right and voila that's all there but of course i built my own repositories and my own packages and um, we'll just get them from there and this is busy this is interesting this is a script and you go and have fun visit friends go to eat drink a coffee the machine is busy and when you come back all the work is done you reboot and you see that all the software is there and sometimes naming changes and all that but that's something for you to keep track of and you'll see the red text or something that is oh god they've changed the name or this is not relevant anymore i should delete this stuff like that but basically it's a good start voila and current choices so I call, I've called it current choices because this thing will always change, right? Nobody stays the same. And this is here. Now you see that indeed we have four extra repositories added to Endeavor OS. So we can have anything we want. Now the Arch Linux tweak tool. Let's see if we installed it. Arch Linux tweak tool is here. And like I said, I would like to have left WM. In previous video now left WM is actually not um, so good in, in the sense that well it shows the software and it really doesn't really show the software so I'll just retrieve packages let it install done already but show quickly what had or maybe we should reboot so this is the look as is then we restart so it's a lovely, for me, it's okay, right? Endeavor is beautiful look out of the box, but right. <laughs> Why not change up, up some things, some rising, and then you do this. And of course you immediately recognize the look. So let's go over all the applications. These are the applications I would like to be, be started on my machine. It's Telegram, it's Discord, and I just need to log in. And the auto start has been arranged already, has been set already. So these are the packages I'd like to have for accessories. These are the packages I like to have as sublime text, uh, sorry, as development. Sublime text being there. Flameshot, interesting. Inkscape is interesting. GIMP is interesting. Internet I have these guys as a selection. Again, you can sel select maybe oh, three, four, five torrent downloaders. So choose and what you choose is best. So get rid of the things that they provide and get in the ones you like. Voila. So that's the idea. Let's go to logout left wm oh, where is it here it is in this case and then we log into left wm so you see auto start is kicking in g drive telegram so super q super q and maybe i should get rid of don't show me anymore and then i remember quit and this is your setup now this is not my kind of well the default this is the default theme but there are so many nicer default themes so let's update and let's install lti let's install the dbase nemesis is the one i've been using for months already now he's going to download everything git clone actually everything and I'm going to apply Nemesis. And this is what I'm working on always, right? This is the 
the look that I have and a super shift R is gonna make the borders also nice or log out, log in. And there you go. I'm all set. I have update. You see that these aliases that we recognize from Arc Linux, they're there. And here I have to change some things. So yes, fine. Uh, read every single package. They're on Pipewire, fine. With Arch Linux 3 tool, I can get back to Pulse Audio if I would want, if, if there is an issue, right? Then you switch again and that's fine. It's always about hardware, what works, what doesn't work. Choose Pulse Audio, choose Pipewire, whatever you like and need. Now, I do see this, um, I'm actually curious. Uh-huh, yep, it's set. So parallel downloads five is there and that's what I wanted to know. It's okay, whoa. <laughs> super control X, voila, super Q. No your key bindings. So I'm a happy guy. I have an up-to-date Arslink system and it's from the guys of Endeavor OS. Beautiful distro, easy to set everything up. And if you go and have a look at the code inside Arclinx Nemesis, you'll find that there is some thinking. Well, some, um, let's see, remove software. If you're on Carly, do this. If you're on a riser, do that. Um, if you are on, where are we here? Arclinx, do this. If you're on Endeavor OS, remove this, remove that, disable the firewall. Down, remove all of these things that I don't need, don't want, right? And it's a choice. In the end, it's it's all Lego blocks coming from Arch Lakes, coming from Endeavor OS, from Arch Lakes, from, from Chaotix OS, from so many distros and, and repos of them. And you decide what you want, put it in a nice script. It's easy and you let the thing run. So here's Garuda and I run everything. And in here as well, have a look at the personal. If you're on a riser, if you're on Arco, if you're on Arch, if you're on ALCI, I have a course air keyboard with coloring. And if it detects that, then it's gonna install things and otherwise it won't install it. EOS is here, Garuda is here and so on. See what you can make, what you can use, reuse. And in the end, let distro developers provide you the raw material. Here's the ISO to install and then later on make your own script like I've done for years on Linux Mint and that's the easy part right afterwards after installation once that's successful you remove whatever you don't want you install whatever you do want et voila enjoy <laughs>